This morning, the Free Store Food Bank is hosting his annual holiday distribution. Volunteers are handing out food, and Clancy Burke joins us live from over the Rhine, where doors open at 8 o'clock. Hey, Clancy. Hey, Bob. I think it's safe to say we've got food. I led us to the rice section first because lately I've been going through a rice kick, but this is just scratching the surface because over here you can see we've also got oranges. We have apples, chicken, more rice, uh, sliced vegetables, produce. Last year in December, they gave out more than 4,000 boxes, feeding more than 12,000 people. And this year, I'm thinking we can even get those numbers up right now. I'm here with Kurt from the Free Store Food Bank. And Kurt, if there was ever a time to give, it's now. It really is. When we think about providing food for the families here in the Tri-State, hunger doesn't take a holiday. So we encourage folks to go to our website, freestorefoodbank.org, make a donation because every dollar that we provide allows us to provide up to three meals to families right here in the Tri-State area. And every dollar that's donated to the Free Store stays right here. And 94% out of all of our resources go directly to client services. And not to mention, this is a time when a lot of kids are off from school and they're not getting those lunches or those breakfasts. Eight, eight out of ten children are eligible for free and reduced lunches. So when they're out of school on the holidays, over the weekends, then they're going without breakfast and lunch. And that's really dri driving up demand at all of our 500 pantries across the 20 counties tri-state area. So now's the time to give and we encourage everybody to be as generous as possible. And last time when I came here for the Thanksgiving food drive, I couldn't believe the amount of emotion. I mean, there were people crying in the hallway. I mean, tell me about that. It's so meaningful to them. Well, when you think about the families being part of a holiday tradition, and unfortunately, sometimes waiting in a food line is someone's holiday tradition for the time being until they get back up on their feet and become stabilized. And that's what the free store is all about, is trying to stabilize families. So we're here to fill that gap until they can be their self-independent uh, self once again. That's wonderful. Last year, there were more than 700 volunteers coming up right here in Local 12. I'll show you what it's all about. What are these volunteers really doing? It's coming up in about 30 minutes. For now, I'll send it back to you in studio. All right, Clancy, thank you. And St. Vincent de Paul is hosting its Christmas food distribution in the West End on Bank Street. That starts at 9 o'clock this morning and goes until noon.